Oh, that's right, people. CM Punk came out on WWE backstage last night. Oh, and he had a couple things to say about Baron Corbin and, of course, Mr. Seth Rollins. Come on back and check out and see what he had to say. If you smell what J Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in, 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 with the millions <laughs> of J-Rock's fans? You're right here with J-Rock in his new place, new pad, green screen arena, if you will, in the SmackDown Hotel on the corner of New Year Road Boulevard and Jabroni Drive. Testing out the new green screen. It's not perfect. I'm trying to get it first time, second time, I'm trying to use it, but I'll get it together. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's the first or second time. The only thing that matters is we're about to check out what CM Punk had to say yet yeah, last night on WWE Backstage. Pull no punches, held nothing back. And so let's check out what he had to say. This is something that, uh, you know, the less said about it, I think, is better. It makes me reconsider uh, doing the show. Oh, wow. Did you like it? Don't uh, it. Did you like it? You can't possibly defend that. Like, the, the creative's bad. Like, you know, I don't know anything about Baron Corbin, really. He's one of the newer guys that I got I to gotta check him out. But that's a bad start. What did you think of it? Garbage. Oh, don't even get garbage. me started. It was garbage, yeah. right, Paige? All right. Thumbs down. I got a big thumbs God down. God influence. So Roman and Corbin will uh, actually be on the scene. And that wasn't all that CM Punk had to say. At the end of the night, he capped it off with one of his infamous pipe bombs on Mr. Seth Rollins. Oh, let's check this out. Break your tongue. Yes. You have yes. a tattoo of Roseanne Barr on your chest that you covered up with a tattoo of Stephen King. Yes. And this is coming from somebody who has a tattoo of ramen. All right? You lose the stupid tattoo contest just like you would lose the promo contest. And I don't care if I'm 150 pounds, if I'm 200 pounds, you couldn't take me bowling. So, so take your feet. Yeah. Cubs fan, L.A. Dodgers hat-wearing ass, and get out of here yeah. before I throw you yeah. out the front yeah. door. Yeah. Go yeah. search for relevancy somewhere else, Seth. I mean, Tom. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't do that. In the words of Booker T, he didn't do that. Tell me he did not just do that. Oh, CM Punk is back, baby. And he is landing the smack down on anybody and everybody. Jabroni one by one by damn one. He is laying the smackers down all oh, their candy asses. Oh, that's right. CM Punk let him know. Yeah, he wasn't lying. Who in the hell came up with the idea of Baron Corbin and a mascot dressed up like a bulldog? That's the best you could come up with. Huh? That's the best you can do. Okay. Well, then J-Rock says this. Why don't you take that script that you came up with this, shine it up real nice. Get you a highlighter, highlight the best parts of it, fold it up into nice pieces like you're gonna put it in an envelope. And this is what J-Rock wants you to do. Turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. I would love to see CM Punk and Seth Rollins go at it. Now, apparently CM Punk claims that he hasn't spoken to WWE. He only spoke with Fox. And there's no discussion about his in-ring return. J-Rock doesn't believe that for one single solitary second. You mean to tell me that of all the shows that are on Fox, this is the show that they want CM Punk to be on. This is the show. No, 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 no. CM Punk is on his way back to the WWE, and it's his only... A matter of time before he shows up. I'm predicting at the Royal Rumble. He's going to be in there with Seth Rollins. And he's going to show up. Number 15, number 5, number 30. Oh, it doesn't matter what number he is. 
The only thing that matters is that he's going to show up and he's going to show out. And the roof is going to go off that place as if J-Rock was walking down the people's aisle. Oh, yes. It's going to happen. You can book it. J-Rock says this. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of this. If you appreciate it and enjoy J-Rock's reaction to this, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Oh, I know the green screen. It's, it's a work in progress, Jabroni. Don't worry about it. J-Rock will get it right. All right? Make sure you subscribe to the People's Channel and join J-Rock on his electrifying journey to one million subscribers. All right? J-Rock needs your help. And to those of you who have joined the People's Family, J-Rock has two things to say. Welcome and thank you. Go to my Facebook fan page. The link to it is down below. If you have a suggestion or a video that you want J-Rock to react to, post it there. And if I choose your video, J-Rock will give you a shout out on the People's Channel. Hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock until we meet again. If you smell what J-Rock is.